good morning viewers welcome back to the fourth episode of meet the veteran series today's episode is very special to us because today we have with us one of the most powerful voices of indian cinema a filmmaker who has not only defined new dimensions in indian filmmaking but also is a filmmaker of international repute film students all across the globe have grown up watching his movies may i now welcome the iconic figure of indian cinema padmashri mr shahji and karuk in the show good morning very warm welcome to you the show sir thank you also aunty it's lovely that one way of meeting people when we are away from this time of corona and to understand very well said the very well said sir uh, very well said cinema sir. Yes, so way. before that before i before i request mr shahji and karun to deliver his talk let me first introduce mr shahji and karun's prolific work to the audience mr shahji and karun is a trivandrum based indian film director and cinematographer his debut film pravi won the camera door mention the honor at the 1989 cannes film festival he was the premier chairman of kerala state chalchitra academy the first academy for film and television in india and was also the executive chairman of the international film festival of kerala from 1998 to 2001 he is currently the chairperson of kerala film state development corporation he is best known for his award winning films piravi swam vana prastham kutti shrank and many more he won national award for best director for his debut film piravi he has also won two kerala state film Uh, awards for the best director for his film swam and one person in 1971 he entered the film television institute of india pune where he took his diploma in cinematography his diploma in genesis directed by rahul das gupta got many awards and he started his career his role with the participation in meaningful cinema activities through contribution to ksfdc and well known giants in the malayalam filmmaker resulted in many landmark achievements to the malayalam cinema nationally and internationally in 1990 in 1998 he started and presided first film academy in india kerala state chalchitra academy under government of kerala it is in the same year he started international film festival kerala as competitive and further pr recognized film festival as international competition competitive under this john He has presented three of his films, Pravi, Swam, One Prastham, consecutively to the Cannes official section, which is a rare achievement for any filmmakers worldwide. Where the film Swam was in competition in Cannes in 1994, he has directed over 20 feature films and short films, and has cinematographed over 17 path-breaking films, including the films of legendary Mr. G. Arvindan. He has several awards and recognitions to his credit. The most prominent awards are Lifetime Achievement Awards in 20. 12th Jaipur International Film Festival in 2020 Lifetime Achievement Award if you 2014 Innsbruck Film Festival Austria Padmashri in 2011 by Government of India Others thus as as thus letters by Government of France in 1999 First Charles Chaplin Award to commemorate the century of Charles Chaplin in 1989 at Edinburgh Film Festival UK as cinematographer He has won Eastman Kodak Award for Excellence at Hawaii International Film Festival in 1989, and a National Award for Thampu, uh, which is popular as Circus in 1979. Award from Government of Kerala for Kanchan Sita in 1977, and Award for Esthapan in 1981. As director, as I have already told you, at Cannes Film Festival he was nominated for Swam for Palm d'Or 1994. and in of pravi has already won camera door in 8, 1989 at london film festival his film pravi was declared as the outstanding film at locarno international film festival he won the grand jury prize in 1989 for the film pravi in 1999 in cannes film festival one prasthan was screened and on certain regard section of the festival in 1999 and he has lots of national film award which is a very reputed award of government of india to do you know most of his films in 2009 his film kutti shrank won the best film award his film vana prastham won best film in 1999 and he won the best non for feature film award for the shams vision 1997 he had the special jury award for swam in 1994 and his film pravi 
as a producer won the best in for 1998 1988 and he also won the best director for pravin in 1988 and he also won the best photography award for this tempo for nine in 1979 and he has several kerala state film film award to his credit as cinematographer as the director also it is an absolute honor having such an eminent filmmaker on the show today may i request mr shahjin karan to kindly deliver his talk thank you so much sir thank you it is a wonderful opportunity to meet all of us again and basically through the idea of mr suan maulana asad university as always we know that that we are still students like any university giving us an opportunity to understand the media and we are on it and like me at this age when i am turning 68 i still consider myself as a student because cinema is so big we understand that cinema is something greater than life and still we don't know how we understood it and how do we look at it cinema probably as a filmmaker i may call it as two reasons one is how can you understand the mind of human being can we understand the, what is mind is it belonging to your heart or is it belonging to your brain so where do this connect or what is the relationship between the heart and the brain and still we don't know where is the mind so cinema is also like that many expressions the link between your brain the link between your heart and does it give you experience does it give you memories does it give you relationship does it uh, give you mem- an idea of nostalgia does it give you a love and moreover why the mind is there like cinema probably i understand we have two genders male and female why it is being created if you look at it the way you li- look at the old nature whether it is animal or birds or a tree or anywhere these two species probably pro- have given you an idea of thought of mind this mind i understand is an idea of uh, language also because there is a male there is a female we invented language we invented poetry we invented music and we invented cinema science has given many expressions to find out where the mind is also cinema is the nearest tool to find out where the cinema is or cinema's prime job is to underline where is the mind is also so creators like any filmmakers first of all their expression is to go deep in the human and uh, most important part any filmmaker's career is also to understand um, if i say how he created see when i started as a student in the uh, uh, during the 70s uh, beginning like 71 i asked passed out from the pune film institute and cinematography as the reason said when i came out i was a, a new person before i joined there because i saw watch quite a lot of international uh, film makers work that's what i always find out that uh, this was my first experience to see an italian film first interpretation of watch a french cinema and if you look at it then i realize the emotion all over the world is same whether it is italy whether it is in germany whether it is in france whether it is in india whether it is in kerala i i find 
that human beings mind probably is they have certain kind of language which probably we understand that we have a common language to share probably the emotion probably the the memories this also very very important for all of us because that's why the human beings definitely uh, define yourself uh, idea of how do we define humanity or how me how uh, the way you compare humanity into the human and then what is humanity is the relationship between the nature the relationship between the the living objects around the nature and the people around you the similar way you understand that cinema has lot to do to understand like a science what is scientist doing it scientist you know, the biggest idea for anybody for like us an artist always gives a thought for a, a scientist to discover where uh, it is coming from and as i said earlier the mind we don't know the how does we always say some people say my heart belonging to their longing for their my heart says that you love me and then where does it comes from is it from from the brain or the experience these thoughts are very very important tool for a filmmaker filmmaker understand where it originates for example a writer gives you a thought that there is a, a a man or women or old man old women or a young girl they lives in one place with lots of pain or lot of happiness how do you look at it for a film maker you need a nature where it is and how you look at the women whether she is dark or the fair how is the hair look like that and where does she live and what does she eat and what does uh, give you the indication that how the people will look at you how she wanted to look at the human other people how she wanted to look at the surroundings these are so many parameters for a film maker to understand one simple thought now that's what i am um, thinking about as a film maker now look at what made me a film maker uh, as a film maker if you look at it why you wanted to become a film maker because as an any artist you are still don't know what you do is the right one you are uncomfortable you don't know whether you are doing the right thing that is also uncomfortable thought and you are afraid of the people around you whether what you wanted to give it to them whether they receive it and till that time you are your honesty works out if you are a dishonest person you cannot become an artist so artist prime job is that you have to fear fear whom the people around the people the intelligence around you the the structure they think that the concept of which uh, and in one way the fear is also the artist should be head of time how far head of time many of the uh, our poetry is many of the painters many of our film makers ma- many of our musicians music directors everybody has given that thought and they are still living i mean after the death that's why i am telling the artist should leave head of time so that is a fear for any film maker that you leave at this time are you capable enough to understand head of time the time head of you 
the astrologers say, say that there is a uh, an idea that you live like that but for an artist it's a different one for an artist generally that how the emotion works out ahead of your time the emotion in the sense that your love your hate your uh, way of thinking your philosophy your understanding the others or the nature everything that is been if you look at 10 years ahead of our time what does it look what the art is looking for so art and then the comfort then ahead of time again is another issue is that the past which you are managing when you look at the manage will your art will your creation resurface again the same level what you want if you look at mona lisa you go there french french lior museum and look at there probably the person it, who saw the the mona lisa at least how many years back will that the same emotion you will get back that's also an issue for an art if i get the same emotion artist is a creator art is not a consumer of the time an artist is not meant for that he has to be in tune with the time ahead of his mental attitude to the people where like a god which i would say i is god what is the idea of the god if you look at it who is the creator if you say somebody has descended to you the god must have created or descended to you or like a human being he also created uh, the elephant or the ant or the trees or the nature so who is the designer so you wonder there so idea wonder is also important for a why it is there in front of you who sees it and and it's your job and they star artist always star and to find out what is the truth behind it so they understand what they know head of time is is their passion to understand what it means so a filmmaker is also like that you have to what you call tarkovsky has said earlier cinema is a sculpture made out of time what is sculpture sculpture is something which will remain for you years together without any damage like a, a sculpture can also be made through with your clay that you keep certain clay so that is where and it remains there so for an artist it is an idea that it's not it's not remaining it you are taking away certain things which you don't want that means you are why it is not want it must be very precious at the moment still you don't want so taking away certain things is also an idea of the head of time so cinema is also like when you want to shoot it when you put your camera in front of you you always make a decision that what you don't want so there must be enough beautiful landscapes still you are confined you will ask yourself whether you need it or you don't want it so you remove certain things fortunately cinema has four four frame uh, left right up and down which i can chop it off so you make a decision which you don't want that also makes a lot of sense for a an artist to how you wanted to see it but you don't want to see it so while writing your screenplay a person must be in front of you then you decide what you don't want him and what you want him taking away and chiseling away is an important factor which sometimes you wanted to give the beauty of it sometimes you wanted to see the emotions out of him once sometimes he wanted to show the anger part of him here also it is applicable what you don't want what you want so writing is also an important factor for that reasons so that way 
Understanding cinema is a complex idea of thoughts. And there also the thoughts you have to chisel it away. What you don't want, what you want it. So it's not that everything you wanted to know is not an idea of beauty, a sense of beauty. What is sense of beauty? Nobody understands the idea of the beauty. Somebody who doesn't like the beauty, somebody likes the beauty, and, and every, every human having different idea of the beauty, it's the most abstract emotional content beauty is that. So artist has to fear that idea also. So the fear is that people, how does the idea of the beauty come from you? It is an intelligence. It comes from your brain. So the idea of the beauty also, when you read a book, you li listen to music, the knowledge on the music, can change you the pers uh, perspective idea of listening it. So is cinema. When you wanted to see how you, you look at it, the idea of wh why this ch chiseling becomes a part of it. So that, that is the most important thing also. And then what are the tools for you to bring out that emotion? In Piravi I used rain to say an unseen thing in Piravi. The son is not seen in the, by the father. And then how do you bring that unseen part into the seen part of it? Then the rain becomes an important tool for me. Why I choose rain? Rain is an important idea for an idea. If there is no rain, there is no cultivation. The seeds will not come out. And it will not sprout out. It will not become a tree. It will not give you a fruit. So, rain is a basic information for anybody, for an average common farmer, down to anybody that water is important in your life. So, that is also important. So, so the tools, that means symbols, motives, become an important for to understand. When, when you get the smell, you must be, it can be a, a, a dialectical interpretation for a smell. When you smell, certain things. Suppose when the first rain comes, the earth smells different. Probably one person can induce the idea that this is the smell where my childhood was there. Or while the mother served you food. The smell also gives you indications. They are tools for the artist, for the cinema. And how, where is the sunlight comes from? Whether it comes from the back or the front or the side or the, it is a soft light or a harsh light and many variations, whether it is a colorful light, whether it is a morning light or evening light or a top light, it also makes sense of uh, sensation for you to understand your emotions. It gives you. That's why the sun is there. Why there is a uh, sun and there is a day and there is a night. Twelve hours of night. 12 hours of a day, does it make uh, a, an idea of uh, interpretation for you to think that why that we are a representative of, of many things together, nature, emotion, understanding with the uh, other people's thoughts, our, other people's pain, other people's happiness. All those things are very relevant at this moment for a filmmaker and you have immense opportunity to discover it. You have an immense opportunity to see where it is and how you look at it, how you observe it and what are the tools. It's, nowadays camera can capture easily, but again you say you don't want that one. It's also an important knowledge why you wanted that, because that all comes from your passion come from your way of seeing, way of understanding, we are knowing it and also cinema is an excitement. An excitement, what is the excitement in a darkened room? You see a silence which is also a tool for a filmmaker. When it is darkened and there's a silence in the mid midday, you go there in a matinee you understand there is brightness outside, still you see them, and you watch with thousands of people, you cry it, 
with everybody you cry with the other people or weep you yourself without knowing anybody because the darkness help you that somebody is not seen you weeping and also you laugh with everybody thousand hundred people see you suddenly they laugh you take part of it these are the tools these are the and cinemas tool it's not that how you put it together like a food how you put it the taste of it then the food is also the bad food the good food is different so cinema is another kind of food and that is the joy part of it when somebody eats that food you you find out the joy not them the one who made it that's also a part of it so you are a complex person filmmaker is a complex person with understanding a uh, subtlety of many shades so to understand it you need time you need experience you need learning and you have to become student every second that's what i just wanted to say to you thank you thank you so much sir for such a brilliant talk i have never ever heard such a brilliant talk you know in 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 my lifetime on on cinema in such a short duration you covered you know each and every aspect of cinema especially you know technical aspect aesthetical aspect philosophical aspect and it was a film appreciation as well for the you know young filmmakers and and your personal journey as well you know the, the way you quoted from mepravi how did you wrote particular scene why rain was you know shown why sun was not shown there you know and it still it was shown there actually it was part of the scene uh, i have one question especially for pravi sir uh, what was the motive behind you know using this motif of you know the father using boat again and again going to the you know uh, police station and coming back in the boat again this the boat is brilliantly used as a motif in your film pravi so could you sort of elaborate that particular you know screen writing for the audience so that you know they get the nuances of the writing of cinema see what uh, in the end i just wanted to end the film basically uh, without somebody who rows it row the boat that nobody is there it can reach anywhere it can go to the sea it can go to a shore unknown places so boat is some places we need a steering we need to know the destination you need to row to reach where you want if there is somebody is not there like the father he doesn't know where he is going to end he he, he doesn't know the fate of it so it is like a, a, a shot to another shore a shot to another shore but the other shore everybody think the other shore is brilliant so he cross the shore and go to the police officer and return back to his own shore and the other shore is still an abstract thought for him and it needs a guidance somebody has guided him and in the end the boat move floats in the end of the film without a, a rob a person who is rowing or somebody to help you so he is selfless nobody to help him and father is been lost somewhere and his fate is also like it's an idea of fate that's why the boat is used as the motive uh, one more question sir uh, how do you look at the you know presence of uh, indian cinema at various film festivals uh, we we don't see you know much of indian cinema in a reputed film festival uh, do you see any reason for this see uh, unfortunately indian indian cinema to me to understand lot of brilliant filmmakers were there to enter to they took like you know pakisa mugalayasa all kind of films which madhumadi payasa gurudath arvindan uh, uh, satyajitre why did they enter into the cinema what it was there it was not for them it was to enlighten the audience to make a citizen a better citizen that is cinema's one of the prime thought probably that when you read a book you become a different person when you watch a good cinema you become a more sensitive person in this cases cinema in india is we consider as more to reach people 
in an entertainment. Entertainment has become a business now. It's a money factor. Unfortunately, cinema is been probably cinema is born during the capitalist time when after the invention of money. And no other art has every art has matured before the invention of money. Dances, music, theater, everything, every every area it reached classical form. After cinema, television came. It became a complete tool for the market. Now OTT platform come. What is the philosophy behind it? Do you reach sure. their people? To for what purpose? Why is an art? You change them. Cinema is different. Like a classical music. So give a different name for different different things. Everything is not what you say, everything is not cinema. It can be a communication. Like in music, I say classical music and then the cinema music, rock music, or art cinematic dance or dance, it has a different name. But for cinema, what is it? There's no change. There's no differentiation. Everything is cinema, which is a, a bad way of understanding cinema, according to me. Sure, Dad. Thank you so much for answering this. Uh, I have one more question. Uh, you had, you know, such a, you know, prolific journey, right, from your cinematography days to the, you know, filmmaking. Uh, which is a very, very rare combination in, in a filmmaker. You are a cinematographer also, and you are a filmmaker also. And, and that's of the international repute, actually. Uh, nowadays, we are living in a digital world. So uh, you have grown up using the 35 mm millimeter uh, print, analog body, you know, days when every filmmaker or cinematographer used to enjoy, they used to cherish the analog days. So how do you look at the, you know, days of the analog and the digital world now? Has the technology, you know, should we really adopt the technology as it is? Or is still there is any scope for the analog or 35mm uh, print for the young filmmakers nowadays? See, it is faster. Whatever your images are coming out faster. When I do it, as a cinematographer, when an actor performs it, I am the cinematographer is the only person who watched it through the close-up long shot and the frames and everything. not even director and he watches it later it's an incubation time an idea of waiting waiting is also very important in our life without waiting nothing will formulate like your mother wait for 10 months for your child to come out so waiting is an important passion so cinema is sudden and perspective it's like a fast food for many things like you know you get it and you fill it up and you go there and then you, and you, again you want for a different reasons but then what is a how, how much time takes a painter to paint it now how much time he wants to take the which color he wants and how much translation is required for a musician to sing before the stage how much rehearsals he needed how much theater what does it mean for that thing for anybody needs certain kind of commitment it just before prior to your time time is when time becomes shorter, it becomes a consumption. If this consumption becomes an important tool to say that everybody will say time is money. Does it mean that cinema is time uh, is a concept of time? But it is not a time for the money. But it is a matter that for your mind to your brain for the intellectual way to understand. Still, your brain has stored only. 5% or 8% of your intelligence. Yeah. Another 92% is vacant in your brain. <laughs> Fill it up with your thought. Fill it up with your camera. Fill up with your cinema. Fill up with your intelligence. Fill up with the thoughts that can generate through the cinema and art form. It's very, very important. A 98%, at least 50% uh, uh, filling up in your brain makes a different human being all over the world. I think so. True that, true that. So, sir, in this digital world, if you get a chance to shoot again in 35M format, would you like to shoot in 35M format, sir? Yes, I like it. Love it too. I still wait for laboratories are closed. That's my difficulties. If it was a laboratory, I say, tomorrow I want to shoot in a 35M. Why, I tell you. If you shoot a 35M camera, like a uh, spider web 
Uh, in 35 mm negative, you don't see it. In 70 mm uh, screen, you see it. That means so much of information is being stored in that small screen. In digital, you take it in a digital camera and you blow up for 70 mm, you don't see that spider web. Where does it go? So, the information which is storing without your knowledge is more important part rather than the one which is losing when you wanted to go deep into inside, to penetrate into it. So digital has that disqualification. So I still wanted to shoot whatever I have seen is being stored in their places where when you see it in a later stage, much beautiful than what you have seen. It's not disintegration. It is an idea that it is there. You are confident. It will remain there. It is full. After 100 years or so, I can see it. In digital, after 10 years, and you scheme a new, new thought, a new uh, innovation, a new format, and you don't get any, uh, an equipment to play for it, and there is no standardization, that way, mom, I shoot it here, I can take to North Pole or South Pole to still show because the equipment is less. It's a small camera, a lens, a small motor, a projector is also no mess in it. Technology also no mess in it. And I can touch it, I can feel it. When I edit it, I look at that picture. I cut it where I want it. In digital, how, after shooting, can you see your own image? You can see a monitor. A, a via media concept to see your image there it is direct in front of you there's a lot of truth in it there's a lot of honesty in it and digital i don't think i could be able to manage that honest part of it it's a dishonest interpretation of a truth so very honest uh, uh, in fact i said thanks from your side uh, we have a question from umar azmi sir uh, he says, after the kind recognition of uh, one receives with his debut film, like you did uh, with Pravi winning uh, Camera de Or, uh, being so well received at a film festival of that uh, mammoth stature, how do you keep the momentum going? See, uh, it's like uh, the people, the writers, like, you know, all our, uh, if you look at the kind of uh, epics like you know Quran or uh, Ramayana or uh, Bible you don't know who has written practically but it's still there it is but that's more than religion it is an aesthetics of idea of living uh, how it is been transferred to us because we have invented language. If you don't invent a language, you cannot read it now. Earlier, without understanding the language or a written language or calligraphy, then there are many things happen. Nobody is recorded at it. So, why it is being recorded there? To change you, to make you different. So, that time, the people in front of you was somebody to, it is a collective effort to change a society, that like a, your own dress. When do you want to start wearing your own dress, human being? It is a respect, it is an understanding, concerns. And now people wanted to throw away the dresses. And then, what does it mean? It's freedom, you call it freedom. So in that, ambience to make a cinema the way which I wanted 40 years back I was more confident I am now in confident to make that kind of cinema so the momentum is lost for me that's what I can say very nice place, friend, sir. Uh, then we have a question from Ubedullah Rehan he says uh, what suggestions you would like to give to budding filmmakers who want to start their career as a filmmaker see it's a very struggling process. You can't make a, from the way the way you born from your uh, the uh, you have seen the light. 
that when you are born, you see the light. Till the, till you close your eyes, that means light goes away. Till that time, it is a struggle for a filmmaker. But still, you are most necessary for a society. So the idea of the most necessary, most important for a society, to live with the society, to understand the society, being with the society, for the society, is an important part for a filmmaker. Please see that it makes sense to us. That's why we call sense. Out of the, you are the sixth sense, not the fifth one. So, sixth sense is a filmmaker. So, idea of understanding. You should understand all the rest of the five senses. Sixth sense, it will come out. So, you are a struggling person to understand the sixth sense. I think that's my wish. Thank you so much. Sir, I'll add an additional question to this, what Mr. Ubat has asked just now. Uh, so, is it always uh, important for a, you know, if anybody is aspiring to become a filmmaker to sort of sort of join a film shoot? Because nowadays we are living in digital era and the, the way the, the, this art form has been democratized because, you know, even you can shoot a film on your mobile. So, you just need to sort of, you know, understand the basic grammar of uh, maybe through internet or somewhere. Is it always important to go to a film school uh, to have a, you know, uh, to become a filmmaker, successful filmmaker, or you can make your own world, you know, by your by genetic your own aesthetics. Depends because cinema is a combination of all which I said senses, music. Uh, uh, it's a combination of many senses together, many art forms, painting, the passion, emotion. So please keep the, your mind close. Uh, yeah, uh, the sensitivity and all kind of stuff. The cinema is a combination of many things. It's a combination of seven arts, which we call. All the seven arts are being put in the cinema. No? Sure. Understanding very in detail is very important. And learning it is very, very important. Writing, like, you know, writing for cinema is very important. Not seeing the cinema is, is the only comes. First, you have to write visually to see it. So learning is very, very important to our idea. It's not the technology that matters. Technology is only a tool for you to understand why you want, why it is been. You don't, sometimes you don't need all those technology to say, you, you can, as I said earlier, you can discard certain technology, which you don't want. It. You wanted to see still black and white film. You don't need color. So it's all up to you. That's all come from your sensitivities, from the learning, observations, and thoughts, and feeling. That means you're reading, listening music, watching cinema, watching paintings, it's all important. And three years or four years committed for that time, it makes you a different way of understanding cinema also. So learning is very, very important according to me. Thank you so much, sir. So we have a question from Adnan Jamil. He says, you know, uh, he has seen like an Indian cinema typing a particular community like terrorists or something else, like, you know, blacks were sort of uh, 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 portrayed like the villains in Hollywood. The same way is, you know, is this typing uh, in cinema is good? Uh, what is your take on this, sir? See, nowadays human being, cinema earlier, uh, like, you know, what is an art's decision? Take away your violence. Music is supposed to do that thing. You take away your violence out of it. Also, cinema can also occur violence. Acquiring violence is easier. One and a half hours, you can spend your time, strength in the theater to acquire the violence. The people who get out from the theater, he's been accumulated the idea of the violence. And nowadays, all the deaths, murders are being inspired from the cinema. But this type, but then the creators, see, if you look at aesthetic of living, actually, our writings, like, you know, Quran, Bible, Mahabharata, it never, it was, they never thought there is a religion behind it. It is an idea of emotions and character and thought. It has been divided into different sections. For what? For division. Dividing human being is a part of politics. So, it's not an artist's job. If you say, 
not is something meant to make the people to unite together not to divide it and there are visual forms that to divide it you have to pinpoint tell it is not true it is not right that's very important for an artist to uh, voice against it very very important i think very well explained it's not artist job definitely uh, we have one more question from uh, mr imtiaz alam sir he says how to generate new ideas to tell a story ideas is your observations first of all how you observe it yes small things can be observed in a different way a drop of water on a tip of a leaf it will tell you a story what do you want to say it's your observation it has it has music behind it it has certain a nature behind it it's there is a lot of things you want so observation is the prime concern how to we perceive it how to understand it it makes a lot of sense for an artist to tell that story please look at it that way you can see that you can write abundance of things in front of you that's what i believe really. thank you so much uh, then we have a question from uh, shabana azmi uh, she says sir indian people watch cinema only for entertainment they want their actors to be superhero romantic hero with powerful dialogues some music that's it as a filmmaker how you help increasing awareness about whole art of cinema in indians it's like a a, a product sold in supermarket with a well designed picture in out of sight and no content inside and the people see only outside so they don't see inside so it's like a marketing a well designed a cover or picture and a polished and perfected way of looking at it people get attracted to it and then they don't know they, they are not worried about the content inside first of all the idea of the content inside is more than the surface of it that's what so let the cinema be more issue based on content basis rather than the surface basis all the actors performers sets lights all be now look for an idea of the expression of a, a, a well packaged concept so well packaging is the, the last tool for a cinema that's what i believe it it's an idea for the time being for the temporary moment but as there is no content human being as i said the mind also become hollow that's what i wish thank you sir uh we have two last questions now can you list here you know five best films which you sort of recommend to the young filmmakers or the you know aspiring filmmakers they must see these five make film make films sir mm, uh, to me as a filmmaker i always loved uh, tarkovsky's uh, films like you know no uh, sacrifice mm-hmm. even style good these two films which and then felini summer court which i liked it and then uh, um I, this one this uh, tree of life which and tree of life by uh, um malik uh, and then the uh, krislovsky's films blue or red these are some of my favorite film within the shorter time it gives you a, idea where you missed your life it makes sense for you as an artist it changes your mind it makes you much more clear that path for you is also same what you are looking for. so it will give you a different idea to see the cinema rather than going for a, a film like you know some of the hollywood films which you see now that it's all meant uh, to tune that they look at your own pocket where you have a currency inside the pocket or you have something inside your brain which you only want to prefer so money is not the factor money is invented by human being so why do you become the slave to the man's own invention so money is invented by it's not invented by the god so invention by man and becoming slave to man's own invention is an example is the money where you 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 mortgage your intelligence for the money 
So I don't think it's a right way of understanding the life of people. Thank you so much. I think, sir, with this question, we come to the end of the session. And it's been such a scintillating talk uh, from your side today. I am sure, you know, it covers almost all aspects of cinema in such a short, short duration. And this is going to benefit the audience a lot, lot. Because this will be the part of our archive also, so they can watch, anybody can watch in future as well. And it's such an honor and privilege to have you on the show today. Uh, uh, I really thank you from the bottom of my heart and from the all audience side also that you joined us today in this session. Thank you so much for joining us today, sir. Thank you. Looking forward to see you again. Thank you so thank much. You so much. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye-bye. Uh, I'm sure all of you must have enjoyed today's talk by veteran uh, filmmaker Mr. Shaji and Karun. And tomorrow we'll be back again uh, at same time, 11.30 a.m. morning tomorrow with yet another uh, media veteran. Uh, so please uh, uh, keep watching this series and uh, you should uh, uh, watch our IMC Manu Facebook page as well because this has the archive of the all recordings which we have been uh, broadcasting here. So all the new information you will keep on getting through the MC Manu Facebook page. So please keep tuning uh, to the MC Manu Facebook page. So I'll be back again uh, tomorrow at 11.30 a.m. Thank you so much for joining us today. Stay home, stay safe. Good day. Thank you.